We're here at Dave's uh, Random Reviews, and I'm here with my good friend Matt and my lovely girlfriend Lynx. Hello. 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 And, uh, we just saw Baywatch. Zach Efron looks great. He's he looks like just a just a well-oiled spring. He <laughs> he looks like he was genetically engineered in a lab. I would have to say, and I don't say this a lot about a lot of films, it kind of sucked. What? Whoa. <laughs> You thought it sucked? I was very ready to be on board when the rock lifts a body out of the ocean <laughs> and then the titles explode and then there's like synchronized dolphins. I was like, okay, the film has some sense of itself. It knows that it's stupid. Baywatch was always known for the women and the slow-mo shots and stuff. Mm. There's a lot of knob shots in this film, which Ooh, I yeah. think is a major step forward for Hollywood. That's a quality That's right there. That's a good balance. That's, people have fought long and hard for that sort of quality. We saw an actual knob. There were people in the cinema who seemed to be genuinely finding it funny. Yeah. But I just felt like a lot of it fell really flat. The goodwill I had towards it was more surprising because I was like, I, this feels like it could be so good mm. or at least passable. And then every moment that could have been great went for too long or got squandered. It wasn't funny. I didn't laugh once. I thought it was going to be more self-aware. There's those couple of moments where like The Rock calls Zac Efron High School Musical and you go, that's funny because he was in High School Musical. Yes. Da -da -da -da. And then there's like those couple of offhand comments of like, this is so ridiculous, it sounds like a crazy TV show. Mm. Like moments like that were so few and far between. In the movie, they make themselves out, you know, there are two more lifeguards, but they're also trying to be like, no, we're serious investigators and we're taking on cases and we're doing things the police just can't do. But that, and that was all deadpan, totally serious. Mm. And then that just does not gel at all with the other aspects that are trying to be funny or trying to be like poking fun at itself. And they also have a bad habit of repeating jokes a lot, or jokes, sorry, because they aren't actually jokes. Uh, good examples are like dick jokes were constantly referred to or just saying dick or balls or, it felt like it was a solid 25% of the movie was just dick related mm. content. Some fishy shit is happening on our beach. And my balls say we need to go over there and check it out. It's a bad idea, Mitch. We're lifeguards. My balls say it's just take it easy, right? Well, my balls are saying, fuck that noise. Let's go handle business. Your balls are bullies. Unfortunately, the process of making a movie is often one where seeing it from start to on screen involves a lot of people critiquing something, which means that that moment and all of the other moments that happen over the course of the 90 plus minute film, people went, that's okay. It's a, one of those sorts of movies where they would have had so much riffing on set or, you know, let's do an alternate take with different improvisation and that kind of thing. And the ones that end up in the movie are awful. And then they have outtakes at the end and the outtakes are even worse than the jokes that are actually in the movie. It seems like the kind of movie that they, when they made it, they were like, this is really fun to make. Mm. Mm. And that's it. What I was really disappointed about was at the beginning when the credits came, came out, mm. they had Pamela Anderson and David Hasselhoff yeah. and I was really excited. I was like, oh, you know, the original characters are going to, you know, appear in the movie. Mm -hmm. And it was literally, Pamela Anderson was like 10 seconds. She doesn't even have a line. There's no, she, she doesn't, doesn't have a line. That, that's what I was really surprised <laughs> at too. What's up with that? Has she lost her voice? With old I think age she or? can't move her face anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's too much, too much collagen, too much plastic. She actually can't open her mouth. <laughs> For very short cameos, usually you think, oh, they'll leave it so that you're surprised, surprised in the film. And said they flash it up front. Oh, they're going to be in it, and then you're just waiting to see how they come into it. So, okay, devil's advocate here. Mm -hmm. Any good parts? I quite like a lot of the actors and I feel like they did a serviceable job with what they had to work with. I think the script was probably never there. There's attractive men and women in it. That's true. It was a good eye candy film for, for all involved. I liked, strangely enough, the comedy relief guy, the, the chubbier mm -hmm. guy. Mm -hmm. It seems strange that they needed a comedic relief in a comedy film but <laughs> yeah. he, he was good I feel like he's got a, a, a decent bit of shtick about him Zac Efron's character as a whole he's the only guy who really in the film has any kind of arc in terms of developing yeah. his character but he's such a piece of shit person <laughs> at the start he's just an arrogant dickhead so why would i care if you redeem yourself and become an all right guy and he gets the girl at the end yeah, yeah. come on man because those washboard abs though those washboard abs those washboard abs <laughs> what do you think his body fat percentage is 
It's like point one, surely. It's it's off the scale. Like he had muscles where I didn't even know <laughs> muscles existed. I heard The Rock talking about him, and apparently he was saying that he, in preparation for the movie, because he's going to be up against The Rock, that he really pushed himself to kind of get into a certain physique. That certainly shows. I can say, I guess another good thing is I can say that obviously he was dedicated to yes. trying to look his best. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he was under the impression that the script writers were putting in the same amount of effort for their job. <laughs> And then got to set and went, oh, fuck, I went too far with this. And he's like, guys, can we just add a scene where I like climb a, a thing that's not actually relevant? Yeah, cool, because yeah. I've done all of this. So, And they're like, great, our script's only 10 pages long at the moment. This is awesome. I love that they have just on the beach, just there, an American Ninja Warrior type yeah. course. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. if there's one thing lifesavers need to be doing more of, it's not watching the beach and doing Ninja Warrior type Ninja workouts. Warrior Absolutely. And lifting mm. fridges. There's nothing you would see me, people. He's a refrigerator. This is very wide. Pussy. You know who the uh, fridge sponsor was? Who? Fisher and Paykel. Because <laughs> they're on the ocean. There's fishermen. That's pretty good. Final thoughts and ratings. I'm not going to sweat bullets on the fact that I watched a Baywatch film. I saw some great looking people with some average looking CGI and some even woefully written dialogue. But at the same time, like I didn't think about the housing crisis in Melbourne. So, uh, you yeah, know, three out of 10, Bay watched, done, next. I think from an entertainment value perspective, I thought it was all right. I'd probably give it a five. There were some bits that I thought were okay. And I wasn't sitting there waiting for it to to end. Glowing review. I wasn't waiting for it to end five <laughs> out of ten. <laughs> that's that's about as positive as, as we can get here, I think. Yeah. I feel like you probably weren't offended so much by it, how bad it is. Mm. I feel like I'm a little bit offended at how bad it is. <laughs> I just wish it knew more of what it was and did more to assert that. Yeah, I just wish it didn't take itself so seriously at times. Uh, so I would probably give it yeah, three. Three out of ten. I wouldn't recommend seeing it though. No, don't go see it. I would say, hey babe, yeah. don't watch. <laughs> you turned the canals into the goddamn X Games. That's because we were in lifeguard pursuit. Oh, okay. My bad. Except for there's no fucking such thing as lifeguard pursuit. <laughs> that. That's been our grilling analysis of uh, Baywatch. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.